Taste the air, exploring English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating phrase, taste the air. This phrase might sound a bit unusual at first, but it's a great example of how English can use sensory experiences to describe feelings or situations. Let's explore this together. Taste the air is not a literal expression. Instead, it's a figurative phrase that conveys a sense of experiencing or assessing a situation or environment. It's similar to saying, test the waters. When someone says they're tasting the air, they might be trying to get a feel for the mood, atmosphere, or general vibe of a place or situation. To better understand how taste the air can be used, let's look at some examples. One, at a party. When I first arrived at the party, I took a moment to taste the air. It seemed like everyone was having a great time. Two, in business, before making any decisions, our manager likes to taste the air, gauging the team's mood and opinions. There are several phrases in English that convey a similar meaning. Knowing these can enrich your understanding and usage of the language. Here are a few. Test the waters, to try something out to see how it is received or how it goes. Feel the room, to sense the mood or atmosphere in a group setting. Read the air, similar to tasting the air. It means to understand the unspoken mood or feelings in a situation. Taste the air is a vivid example of how English uses sensory metaphors to describe abstract concepts. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of this intriguing phrase and how you can use it in your own conversations. Keep exploring and enjoying the richness of the English language. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson.